Well, police in Nashville are still processing the scene following the latest uh, nation's latest mass shooting at an elementary school. We do want to warn you, some viewers could consider the video and audio we were about to show you to be disturbing. Yesterday morning, police say 28 year old Audrey Hale walked into Covenant School and opened fire, killing three nine year olds and three adults. Today, police released body camera video from officers who shot and killed Hale inside the school. Officials also releasing chilling audio from emergency dispatchers. I think a legit active shooter in a school. All units, be advised, we are under a mass casualty alert. Multiple victims down. Based on the latest from police, the shooter reportedly made several maps with plans to open fire in multiple locations, along with a manifesto. Also, Hale legally purchased seven guns from a local source. Police shared today the shooter had been under care for an emotional disorder. Evening Edition's Michael Berg spoke with the Lexington pastor who wants everyone to know that his door and his parish are always open, and that goes for everyone. Profound sadness yet again in the wake of another school shooting. The one in Nashville yesterday resulted in the death of three children and three faculty members. I grieve with those and pray for those folks who are grieving. But Pastor Matt Falco of Lexington's Maxwell Street Presbyterian Church is also disheartened by what may have led the suspect down such a horrible path. We all want to be loved. We all want to feel that. Um, we all want to be recognized and, and seen. Pastor Falco says everyone will feel all of that inside his parish. Here at Maxwell Street, we believe that all people are created in the image of God and we celebrate that. And, um, and that includes the LGBTQ community. They are created in the image of God. But oftentimes that message is not reinforced. Sometimes quite the opposite message is what's actually delivered. We obviously have a pressing issue with gun violence in this country and our legislators are taking more time to focus on isolating a, a community that needs support and help. Whether it's don't say gay campaigns or bills that deny gender affirming care, the pastor feels the wrong messages are being sent and devotes much of his work inside here to rewriting some of those so the tragedies can be avoided and those in need will know they can walk in here. Some folks don't realize that there are church communities out there that do um, celebrate the LGBTQ community and support uh, them. The kind of support that just might lead to fewer tragedies and fewer people feeling as if this is the only way out. In Lexington, Michael Burke for Evening Edition. When tragedies unfold like what happened yesterday in Nashville, the security and safety of school buildings comes into question. The attacker was able to shoot through a glass door to get inside that building. More and more schools and other facilities across the country are installing what's called school guard glass. Angie Bevan has more on just what that is and how it can be one more line of defense. Brent Giuliani, the rep for School Guard Glass in Kentucky, met with us today in our studio. The inventor of the glass actually lived uh, an hour and a half from Sandy Hook. School Guard Glass is intended to help stop a shooter. It's designed to be uh, attack resistant. By buying time. To keep the bad person out long enough for the police to respond. It's different than traditional bulletproof glass, which is much more expensive and requires all sorts of modifications to buildings to install. Juliana showed us samples of that too. So there's layers. You can see the multiple layers. The school guard glass can be installed more easily and affordably. It's designed to go into existing glazing pockets. You don't need specialty doors or specialty window frames or anything like that. He showed us two kinds. One withstands gunfire for six minutes, the other 12 minutes. It basically hardens up the entrance. Another line of defense. It's another added tool. For situations you hope never happen. In Lexington, Angie Bevan, LEX 18 News. There are more than two dozen schools in Kentucky that have school guard glass installed. While there have been no attacks on schools where this glass has been put in, some gun and pawn shops have been hit and the glass provided protection. 